Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Do The Work. In this video, we're going to cover question 7, which we're asked to find the surface area of a triangular prism. I encourage you to try the problem by yourself. And to do this, you just need to know the information in step 1, the area of a square or rectangle, and the area of a triangle. Before starting, I encourage you to subscribe by clicking the button below so you have access to all the next videos and it's a good way to support the channel as well. Now without further ado, let's get to it. So step one of doing any math problem is understanding the question, what we're asked, and the stuff that we need to know, the basic theory behind the question. So here we have a rectangular prism kind of like a uh, chocolate bar, uh, the, the triangle ones. And we're asked, what's the surface area? Surface area, it's like the area of every face of that shape. So we would have two bases, the triangles, and three rectangular sides. So we would add all of these together and get the surface area. Now, we have a rectangle for example this shape is a rectangle so let's take its base down here which is 12 and its height is 10 so for example the area of this particular rectangle would be 10 times 12 which is 120 and we could do a similar thing for all the different sides and the area of the bases well it's a triangle and the area is base times height divided by 2 why? Well, a triangle is really a square, a rectangle, and you split it in two. That's why it's base times height times one half, or it's the same thing as saying base times height divided by two. That's, that's all the same thing. So what we could do as well here is to start the problem, let's do but we can notice that there's equal sides. So let's say we start with the bases. So one, the base, we have uh, base times, uh, it's a triangle. So then that would be base times height. So that's eight times six divided by two, because that's, uh, that's the one times one half. And then we can cancel the two, so then that would be four times six. So then it's four times six, that's 24. And that's the area of our triangle. And it would be centimeters squared because it's area, right? It's centimeters times centimeters, so that's centimeters squared. Now, if we look at the sides, we have a bunch of rectangles. We have this one, so that's uh, 12 times 10. We also have the bottom one, it's 12 times 8. And then the other one is 12 times 6. So we have three different triangles, uh, rectangles. So their, air, their respective areas is just base times height, so that's a hundred, uh, 12 times 10, which is 120. And then we have eight times 12, which is eight times 10, that's 80. Eight times two, that's 96. And then we have six times 12, so that's six times 10, that's 60, plus two times six, so that's 72. And now the total area is simply the total is simply the, the base times two, right? So it's 24, uh, 24 centimeters squared times two, because we have two bases. We could also do 24 plus 24, and then plus, uh, uh, plus 120 centimeters squared plus 96 centimeters squared plus 72 centimeters squared and when we type this in we get 2 times 24 plus 120 plus 96 
plus 72 and then equals space 336. And we it, this would be in centimeters squared. We go look at our answers and it is this one indeed. Now the last step to solving any problem is to build intuition. So in for this type of problem, we can't really check our answer other than redoing it a couple of times and doing it in different ways. So I encourage you to push your knowledge because if you can do the questions we just solved, try to do this one. Find the surface area of this prism. This is an isosceles base. And what I mean by that is that the two sides are equal, right? It's five and five. So how would you find the area of this triangle where it's five, five and six down here? That's the question. And then the rest is easy peasy. And I put the solution below so you can check your answers. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.